Welcome Biznack to the channel. Today we're going to be conquering, uh, hopefully conquering, let me repeat, uh, knock on a little bit of wood, just none around here, but knock on W126. Hopefully be uh, fixing the issue of heat. And in these cars, usually it's this, it's the um, mono valve and the rubber wears out. So you got to buy this repair kit and replace this onto the um, mono valve itself. I believe, forgot what it's called that you replace it onto, but we're going to be doing that. So yeah, let's get busy. First of all, we have to go to remove this though. There's two screws, one here and there on the firewall. Thank you, Monkey Ratch Mike. Um, he's the one that showed me do this, this part. I'm probably gonna have to get a small screwdriver or ratchet to get in there though. So we gotta get these off and this will allow me to remove this. Um, for, make it way easier. I just don't feel like dealing with it, so. Yeah, so we're gonna remove that real quick. Get that off and then we're gonna go right to the four little flathead screw drive or flathead screws on the top of the mono valve, pull that out. There's a few clips in here. There's a C-clip and two washers or you can use one of these, um, one white plastic one or I don't even know what this one is for. No one knows what this is for according to the videos. No one really knows so. But I'm gonna use the two washers. I'm more comfortable with metal damn plastic I don't know the grade of this plastic or whatever so it's gonna go be going through um, radiator fluid all the time I'd much rather use two washers than use the plastic personally so I'm gonna be using that route but yeah let's get it Okay, now we got access to the mono valve more clearly. See this right here, this unit right here. One, two, three, and four screws. Unplug it, and we're gonna pull it out and just do the rebuild and just reverse the process. So this right here, I'm pretty sure is not supposed to be here. I'm, I gotta figure out what it goes to. Um, I mean, it has brown and white, but I've never seen brown and white wires. I don't know. I don't know what that's supposed to be for. Except somebody installs a stereo maybe or something before. Maybe not. I don't know. But it could be factory, but just hanging there. But anyways, so this is the mono valve right here. So you're going to pull this little plug. I said, you're going to pull that little plug. Maybe it doesn't pull up so easy. Yeah, it should just be props. Yeah, you know what? Maybe... Easier to unscrew first. Mm. 
she's on now. And um, try to maybe just pull us out without taking that off. But let's get it. Everyone is scared of losing these screws, as am I. And I've seen some people put some stuff back here, but honestly, I don't know if I can. A little stuffing, I guess, would help. Actually, I'm gonna rag it up. I feel like losing. fuck you are. Come on. bag from cereal if you got a bag from cereal hey look looks pretty, pretty, pretty good on this side cereals always the answer also don't want to make a more direct route <laughs> to the abyss either so I gotta make sure it's nice and flat that should be good just in case Feels like a little wobbly. I can personally get my hands back to it, so I'm just gonna finish it like so. And this looks like a little house screw. Is this the right one? One. Let me get this tougher looking one first. Second. This one is a little more worse, and I ain't gonna lie, because it's like hard to get anything. Luckily, this rubber's all good and everything, but. <sighs> Woo! Gotcha, boy. Sure, it's gonna be extra fun to put back, though. gotta check real quick how you remove this I thought you just pull the pull straight off on, Yo, what's good man how you doing you know anybody interested in this one what is that a seat the nah, yeah. I don't know anybody then they go for three ah. I'll let you know if anybody all right, I, all right I'll let you know if I know anybody all right all right Bobby. have a good one Love New York. You already know people. It's networking. Somebody wants to know if I know somebody who wants to buy a C class. But let me see. I don't, unfortunately. But let me see how to get this bad boy up. Again, it looks like you just pull up on it, but it's not coming. <sighs> yeah, I don't wanna do the old yanking. 
the fuck was that sound, but. All right, let me look at this, how to get this bad boy off. Exactly. And then I'm gonna get back, cause I don't wanna break anything. All right, the answer is apparently I gotta stop being a wuss, so let's stop. Kind of looks like there's tabs though, but. Let's see, maybe I'm wrong. How do you even get anything down there though? Shit. Ah, okay. So the answer is you pull harder to one side to re like essentially release the tab on one side and then you pull it to the other side of the tab. Okay. Game on. Let's continue. This one. Oh, she's almost done. Man. And last screw right here and apparently this should just pull out. Could be jammed a little bit and I might have to get some like pliers or something to pull on that little chrome part which I've seen which uh I think I saw a monkey much right do it you know there's so many good people on the internet Vito's Garage Pierre's an OG Monkey Wretch Mike Mercedes so shout out to all these guys I appreciate it I mean this is my second W126 my other one was a black with Palomino interior it was beautiful but the body was just shot man it was rust rust the car was so good i changed a few that was the first car like you know did some a little bit of work on then i saw this one i sold mines really quick quicker than i thought actually under 24 hours and then help me get the money for oh down she goes Help me get the money for this one. I, you know, just this one I changed the. Oh, let me go on the other hand. This one I changed the timing chain on the thermostat. Not timing chain. I actually just changed the guides. The chain was okay. So it's been a work in progress, but I've been enjoying it. You know what I mean? So if I can teach y'all, help y'all, and get back. If something in my video some reason or whatever makes you learn what others haven't understand but look bam I mean that's clearly the problem this is a diaphragm and as you can see whoo shot shot but I did get like a little leaf in there let's get that out right quick These baby, he's waiting for you everywhere. All right, so like I said, clearly, and you know, we're from New York, so we work in the streets. It is what it is. This is one thing I would like to display to everybody is like the ability that. Like, y'all just get it done where you can get it done, you feel me? You don't need a shop. I don't have a shop or anything, clearly. But when you're limited to stuff, you just, um, you just gotta make it work. So, one of the things is fear too. On this channel, I want you to, to like get over your fear of initially starting a project, you know what I mean? You just gotta get into it. Ain't nothing to do it to it but to do it eventually, you know what I mean? So but anyways, enough of that speech. <laughs> um, but anyways, so we're just gonna replace this. There's a little C clip or E clip, whatever you wanna call it. So we're gonna pop that. It should be like and this one that thing has the plastic. I don't know if you can see. But it has like the plastic under this washer. It's hard to see. But I'm gonna use a uh, two 
of these little washers instead, the copper washers. And it comes with this little uh, wavy washer, which goes here. So I'm just gonna uh, get something to get this off and I'll be right back. Now, let's see, this is how I usually remove these clips if I can. Just take a, there we go, push it off. Made myself a little table. Okay. Just push that off with the pliers. Push it just slide off. Mm. Oh. Okay. Just that. Okay, I'm gonna have to go back and see which way those went on. <laughs> uh, okay, so, but to pull this off, I think the rubber just, sorry, I think the rubber just comes up, if that's correct. Oh, yep, that's it. There you go. clip still. there as you can see who is destroyed first of all I'm happy this is it the start there you know what I mean because otherwise you guys start going to do other thing the other thing that is they said is for this car is it's a pump some kind of pump and it's right next to the mono valve and you gotta take a look it's not hard to get to. I actually checked my other one, the last one. I thought something was wrong with it. And it's not. You just got to take the back firewall off, like a middle part. And auxiliary pump. There we go. And they said that can be an issue as well. So now here's a new part. So essentially, the part goes like this. Put this. Put this rubber back on. Feels good. And then you get these. You got a new C clip, so that's cool. You don't have to worry about losing the other one, which I was worried about. <laughs> so I'm gonna put two of these on. Hard part, I guess the little tough part is you gotta hold this down while you clip it. But can I actually even do that? Let's see, maybe I can only do one washer on this one. And you think this one maybe only do one washer before? If you do two on this one, it looks like the um, the clip will not be able to clip is going to be too um, high to actually go around the little clip ring. Let's see if I can do this with the pliers. be as gentle as I can but it's like ring toss get on Try not to touch the boot, obviously. This little sucker is little. Okay. 
There we go. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna make sure I... Sorry, it's probably out of frame for that. But I just ended up using the Phillips to get behind it and push it on there. So that's that. Now, I was gonna go back real quick and see how this washers went because it just fell off this. Um, which way these go. So I can replace it. And then so we do that and we should be able to put it back and give it a test. Just looked at the other video and it goes like so. So this is first. Eh, I'm just gonna leave it, it's okay. And this actually has like a little, this is directional, I'm just looking at this. It has like a little lip right here. I haven't heard anyone say anything about that before. But it's just clearly a lip and it seems to, make sure you put that lip downside. So lip, that first. Paper, and then this one. That's the order it goes in. To make a little sandwich. Oh shit! Oh, what's in there? Oh, I ain't touching it. <laughs> Pretty sure I just did like chunks, but I didn't want to go in there. So, so let me slide this back up in here. Shit, what am I doing? <laughs> Definitely the wrong way. <laughs> oh man, that's terrible. Oh, and I gotta keep making sure this is kind of like a little. Hopefully, that'll seal better over time with uh, this little edge, will seal better over time. Um, so it goes this way, ladies and gentlemen. The plug, uh, put the round in first. Bam, this. Should be how it goes. And I believe this paper washer will crush as you put it down. Excuse me, the uh, wavy washer. So let's put it back. So also hold it like this from here. Let's get back. All right. So back. Just gonna simply drop it in. Well, not simply drop it in because you definitely gotta make sure you hold this because this slides off on mine at least. So. Sure, hold it like so. Definitely gonna start with that back one first. So get that screwdriver real quick. Alright, I'm gonna attempt to go ahead and put this in with my hand. First start it. Actually. Woo, and I just lost a screw. <laughs> Completely under the freaking water bottle. Just threw it. Should be losing. Ain't that something? Right, well, let's try the next one. Completely tried to like adjust the screw and I threw it right under the washer fluid bottle. It's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to do. How did you know? Oh, this little dude right here. Mad annoying. See, I'm gonna start at this one just to get some security. 
in this. So I just want to get something going. Bam. These ain't no special screws or anything, but everything's special when you don't have them. And just losing anything in the engine is always bad. Whew, I'm gonna see if I can get them started with the pliers. This one's a pain. Bye, Mercedes. Mm. Yeah, this back one is no fun. I want to just even just drop it. It doesn't even feel like. <sighs> well. Oh, did we get it? By golly. Sure, it's going in straight too. So, jeez. Yes. Sweet. space between that. Hold on, hold on. For some reason, these um, two back ones seem tighter than the front. And that's why I actually didn't finish the other one. But, it doesn't seem to be like super strenuous, it just seems to be tight. Like, I don't feel like I'm sh um, cross-threading it. really should change these screws to be honest with you. I hate Phillips heads for one thing. 
Phillips has in tight spots is where it keeps sliding and you want to strip the bolt is a whole other issue. Like, oh, camera down. Like these um, Phillips heads that they use are not very deep. They're very, very shallow, so. Stripping them is not hard. You gotta make sure you keep your pressure uh, downward on these bad boys. So you don't slip. Three in. Hopefully, I can find this other one <laughs> under this water bottle. This second, not too long. Probably gonna have to undo this whole thing real quick. It's all good. I mean, under the water bottle. So I gotta go and do this. I get right back. Hopefully, it's under there, and we'll test the car. Look at this thing. See it right on that ledge. One little centimeter over. We're gonna all she wrote for that screw. <laughs> Let's get it. Alright, so I got the screw down. I'm just reattaching the little um, connector up top. Make sure that's good. Make sure this stupid thing is good, whatever this is. And now I'm just going to screw this back um, onto the firewall. And after I screw this back onto the firewall, I'll go ahead and start it up. And hopefully we get some heat. So I got the first one in, I recommend, I, I line it up the best I could do as I could just see it, but I recommend just taking this one, push it in with your finger, and if it doesn't go in correctly, just keep your finger pressed on it. Okay, and until you can feel it. Well, no, actually you can just go ahead and you can kind of just line it up by looking over the other side so you should be uh, it's not that hard to line up the screws because you have room to look behind it so just in case you want that Box back on. Be done. So, the thing that sucks about the airbox is this one. It's such a pain to line this up. So, yeah, I don't even know if I had a tip, but usually I put that one first, get it in, and I put this one, I put it down and fit it first, and I lift it back. I put the whole uh, airbox down first, lift it a little bit, and try to slide this one on. It's just a pain. But, um, yeah, let's get everything buttoned back up. And start out up well ladies and gentlemen I'm gonna go ahead and call that a success heat we have
It's nice and toasty in here. It's not super warm right now, but it is warm. It is you hit the heat's on for sure. Definitely great to have that heat back. I mean, it's winter time in the Northeast, so at a certain point, you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> if you know, you know. But um, yeah, that's all it takes to do mono vial. Uh, I think I paid like twenty three dollars for the kit. It takes I don't know. It took me probably like an hour because I lost parts. <laughs> I had to literally take the entire windshield wiper fluid thing out completely to get to that screw and get it back and put it in place. But listen, we got heat. My feet warm, toasty. I feel amazing in this thing right now. So that's it. If you guys have heater problems, as you know, it's probably going to be the mono valve. And I just changed mine. And that's the end of the video. Thanks to Mike, Monkey Wrench Mike, Straight Benzes, Vito's Garage. Shout out to all y'all. I appreciate it. Um, hopefully somebody can find my video as informative as I found y'all's. Cheers, have a good one.